I am Hell. However, for this meeting, I would like you to refer to me as Ryuzaki. We wouldn't want Kira finding out our names. Heck, how do I even know that you yourself aren't Kira? Who is Kira? You must have been living under a rock. You see, Kira lives in Kanto, and we believe that he's Japan's next villain. We have been working with the Japanese police to track down Kira. Would you like some? Why do I sit like this? Well, if I were to sit normally, then my deductible qualities would reduce by 40%. We believe that you may have something that we need in helping us solve this case. No, you cannot write any of this down. You have to commit all of our meetings to memory. After many hours of testing and hypothesizing, we believe that Kira is using a tangible object to kill his victims. So, I got Watari and others to create a bit of a object to represent what we believe Kira is using to kill. We believe that it is a book where he can write people's names down and kill them. However, I think it's a bit more than just that. We believe that he needs a name and a face. Because how else people have had the same names? So, we believe that Kira opens his book of death he writes in their names, and he can somehow control the time of which they die. See, we believe that this is how Kira commits his crimes, and we believe that you may be able to assist us in our investigation, put an end to Kira, and we are prepared to even lose our lives. But I digress. We think that if we are able to, we can possibly figure this out. Would you like any? We were going to ask you if you had possibly any information on this. Right now is about the time to come forward with it. on top of this, a few moments ago actually, a few days, seven of our top agents were murdered, and all by a heart attack. And of course it was Kira that did this, but we don't know how he has access to the police agents' names. So, we were wondering if you maybe heard anything on that too.
we also have been trekking a possible subject, a suspect that we believe could be Kira. His name is Light Yagami. Ironic because I work with the head of police, which so happens to be his father. However, if you look at this document, you will see that the agents of deaths, the police chiefs who died, all seem to die right after 3.30 p.m. in the afternoon. What does this suggest? Well, it suggests that Kira could be a high school student. Obviously, you do not want to take the book of death into a high school. Meaning, he must write their names when he has free time. We believe that Light Yagami could be a possible subject. We also know that he hates to lose. And well, I myself don't like to lose either. So something we didn't understand was that we planted surveillance across Light's room. And we were monitoring the surveillance meticulously. But what didn't end up was the light seemed to be talking to nothing, as if he was talking to himself. And we had to think, why would anyone do that? He doesn't seem to be someone that is off in a mental state. So, we were wondering if you maybe knew why the light, Yagami, would be just talking to I'll give you some thought. Are you gonna drink that? You think you have a reason? Well, why don't you say it? God of Death? Shinigami? Where is this coming from? You heard Light talk about something like a God of Death at school, huh? Hmm. But what would that have anything to do with the investigation? We have no idea if what you're saying is true. How would we be able to see this Shinigami? By holding the death note? You're saying that anyone that holds the death note, as you call it, is able to see this god of death. Hmm. Well, that is interesting. We'll have to look into that. So you're saying Say if this were the death note, I'd be able to pick that up and see this god of death. Hmm. You think you know how Kira kills his victims? Would you show me how? This isn't the real notebook, but you say that you've seen something similar. 
you hang out with Lida. Okay. Saying that Kira is able to change and manipulate the time other than just the seconds that he writes them in. What do you suggest that we do? I'm going to ask you to do something for me. As by your information, we would love to have you on board in the Kira case. This is not a task of the faint-hearted. I'm about to ask you to do something for me. Something which, well, isn't for the faint-hearted. I need you to give Kira, or give Light, who we suspect to be Kira, this watch. You see, what the watch will do if you give it to him as a present will, it will have many capabilities to help us deduce whether or not he is Kira. By putting this watch on, it would allow us to trace his heart rate. So when we interrogate him, we can detect whether or not he is telling the truth or lying. It'll also record up close 100% of the time. And because there is a camera right here, we'll be able to see what he writes. We'll be able to see what he writes in. And we'll be able to see who he writes. By giving him this watch, we will able to deduce whether light is Kira. Now, of course, you're going to have to give him this watch in such a way which is not suspicious. I obviously can't, because I suspect that he suspects that I'm onto him. So if you give him this watch, we'll be able to monitor back whether or not he is truly Kira, and see what he is writing in the death note. That is, if he is. And only then can we confront him and win the day. So, I'm entrusting you with this. Please don't let me down. They're not drinking your tea. That is all that I think I can tell you for now. Other than this, all I can say is that we are doing whatever we can to protect the citizens of Kento. And it is only until we find Kira that justice will be served. And by you giving him that watch, we think we'll be able to succeed. Well, I best be on my way. Please get back to me when you can.